Welcome to my channel. My name is Tamel Green, also known as the Digital Midwife. And in today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to create a room using Facebook Messenger. So you may be wondering, well, Tamel, what is this and why do I need to know how to use it? So Facebook Messenger is, I guess I would say they're kind of competing with Zoom. And as we all know, Zoom has kind of taken over the um, virtual world right now, whether it, whether you are a church, a business, a teacher, whatever, pretty much a lot of people are using Zoom right now. So Facebook has a, a feature that is in direct competition with this. Now, of course, it's new, so I can't say it's in direct competition because of the fact of all features are not all the way available yet, but they're coming for Zoom, okay? So one of the things that you're going to be able to do is and i know I've, I've heard a lot of people talk about this you're going to be able to charge for your live streams now does that mean that you could not already have done this feature yes you could have done this a, a thousand ways you know using a uh, private facebook group and only giving people access but now with this feature you will also be able to invite people in who are not on facebook right They'll be able to come into the room with you as well as, I mean, the, the sky is the limit, right? You can do create a room inside of your Facebook group. Um, you're going to be able to do just so many different things. And so a couple of the things that you can do are some of the features um, that you can have up to, uh, up to 50 people. And this is all free at the moment, right? At the time of this recording, this is free. So up to 50 people, there is no time limit. And you can also lock the room. And I really like that feature, the fact that you can lock the room. Now, the only downside to this, you know, as we in this new um, COVID-19, there are a lot of things that people are concerned about, security features. Now, one thing I have learned in my research with um, this feature is that Facebook does not have end-to-end -end encryption in this. So that way, um, knowing that, that this can be intercepted, right? So it is a a possibility right but that doesn't mean it's going to happen okay so you're going to have to make sure that you as the host or um as the presenter that you're you know using these features like locking the room and things like that just to make sure that people that you don't want in there are not allowed in the room and you can remove people and if you have blocked people on your facebook then they're unable to join your room and you are unable to join theirs so those are some good features to know about that but just knowing um, about this feature, um, it has a lot of capabilities for you to be able to monetize this in your business, okay? So you wanna think about how you're gonna do that. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna show you how to utilize it, okay? So you can use this on your desktop as well as on your, um, your Facebook Messenger app on your phone. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways of how to do that, okay? All right, so if you're on your desktop, I'm going to share my screen with you to show you how to do this. All right, so now, if you're on your desktop, you should be able to see my screen right now. And I'm inside of Messenger. So one of the things that you're gonna see is when you first get there, I'm gonna put a little screenshot on the side. You'll see where it says create room. And so you, once you click on that, you'll actually see this space right here. And you see my profile picture, it says my room, and it says zero people are here, right? So now I'm gonna join as Tamil Green. Now once I do that, okay, you see it puts me down here in the bottom corner, okay? And so then you have these features at the bottom. This is, you can share your screen. Now you can share your screen, but you can only share your screen, you can't be on the, you can't be on the screen and your computer sharing the screen at the same time. So that's one thing to know. Then you can see all the people who are in it. Then you can turn off your video if you don't wanna do this, you just wanna share your screen. Um, you can mute people, well you can mute yourself. And of course you can leave the room. All right, so now how do you invite people? So let me move my screen over right here. So how do you invite people? So first, let's look up here at this top. If I click on settings, it allows me to see uh, which, you know, am I using the right settings, my microphone, which I'm not using my Yeti mic. 
All right, so it allows you to change your settings, right? And so we did, once you do that, you can click save. But notice they also have these keyboard shortcuts. If you are a shortcut person, then this is for you, okay? So I'm gonna click save on that. Okay, now if I can go into full screen mode right here, and then I can click on see call participants. If I click on that, this is where you're gonna get the link in order for you to invite people, right? Now, people can join from, I think, your Facebook Messenger, from WhatsApp, and um, I think it was one other thing, I can't remember what it is, but they can also join from the link, which is the cool feature, because you can send it via email, right? And so that's the way, of course, that you can monetize this feature for a webinar or anything, right? So. If I want to invite people, all I'm going to do is click on here and copy this link, okay? So now I, I can either, once the people get in, I can lock the room, prevent anyone else from joining. So I just click that. Are you sure you want to lock the room? No one else can enter the room when it's locked. So you, of course, we don't want to lock it then until after everybody's in the room. So that's good to know. And then I go up here to settings. If I go to settings, this is how you actually end the, the, the room, right? remove all members and disable the link. So that way people can't come back and join again later. All right, and that way if, the, if it's a webinar, it ends right there. Okay, this is if you're doing it from the desktop, right? This is not inside of your group or anything like that. So now I'm gonna go and show you if you're in a group, how to invite people in your group. All right. So let me just hang up, leave the room. Now I want to show you how to create it from a group. So let me just go into my Facebook and I'm gonna to go to a group. Okay, so I'm inside of my group and I'm going to show you how to, um, I'm gonna show you how to add, create a room inside of your Facebook group. So now that I'm in here, I'm gonna go right here to as if I'm going to create a post or something like that, right? And you now see the create room feature. So if you click on create room, it asks you to create an emoji to go along with the activity. So, you know, just say we having a birthday party. I don't know, right? Say what the activity is, birthday party. All right, I'm gonna click save. And you see you have up to 20 characters in order for you to create a title for the room and i'm going to click save all right so now again it gives you a link for people to join all right and then it gives you the room activity so let's see what this is all right you can just go back and change it if you need to so that's the it's named the birthday party who can discover and join so this would be able to this is going to allow people who are in the group to join this call. So if you create a room inside of a group that you already have people in, then those people can come into the room. But if you want to make it a private room, um, as far as like in, not in your current group, but you create a whole new group or whatever to invite people in, then that is how you can actually also monetize it as well. You can also schedule this room. So if I, you could do start now or I can click on this, um, to show me more and I can schedule it right I can schedule this for another time so let's see I'm just gonna say 11 45 p.m. on May 14th right and let's click save well I don't want to schedule it so let's just do this let me do it without scheduling it and start now so you can see that okay so now I'm just going to um, you can say something like on and join the party, right? So again, if this is a group that has people in it, anybody from that group can actually join the room because it is a live post, okay? But if you are going to monetize this and you want people to join the room that have paid you something already, then you can send them the link via email. Or you can create the Facebook group first, and then you know have those people to join 
either way, you know, just you have to figure out your your way of doing it, but this is an option for you. So now I'm going to actually click post it. And of course you can tag friends and all that. So I'm going to post it. So now once it's posted, you could tag people down here if you need them to, you know, come on in the room. And then they're going to click join the room. So you have to go ahead and join the room as well. Again, it's going to come back to the same screen. And then you click on join the room. And then you start to wait on people to join. So now I'm going to show you how people actually join. Okay. Again, this is how you have someone to join the room that has, they're, they're in your actual Facebook group. Okay. That's how you do that. The first way I showed you guys was how to actually create a room and you're going to have people come into the room just from your Facebook Messenger, all right? And once they come in, again, you have up to 50 people that can join for free. And I'm saying free, I don't even know if there is another way that Facebook has um, monetized this for themselves at this time, but just in relation to um, Zoom, I know with a free version of Zoom, I think you can have up to 50 people as well. So I just wanted to make that distinction. So this could possibly be a great way for you to do a webinar um, up, to, up to 50 people. And if, you know, most everyone has a Facebook account. Um, I, I even are using Facebook Messenger. So this is a cool way for you to just utilize it. Now I do know that Facebook has come out with something that's called um, Facebook Portal. So with that being said, I can see the Facebook portal being something amazing to utilize with this um, with Messenger. And so now I'm going to show you actually how to utilize this app on your phone. It goes into Messenger and then it shows you the people who are active. And so what you do is you create a room, you click on create a room, and you get here. And it's telling you that you can invite with a link. You can join without an account, which is amazing. And you can use any device, such as your computer, your phone, or your tablet. So I'm going to click on Try It. So always read the prompts because sometimes it could give you some very important information that you may or may not know. So it says, please wait a few minutes while your friends join. When you join the room, people will link or invite. People with the link are invited will be able to see your name and profile photo and that you're in it. This may include people you're not friends with on Facebook. Hence, if you've sent the link outside of the Facebook, you send your email to people who you may or may not know. All right? So you're going to have to make sure that you vet people if this is information that you... If you're going to do like a private Zoom, just make sure you have those security things in place on your email. Okay? So then the people with the link can join, and I'm going to click on share link. So I can actually share the link via my, um, the apps at the bottom down here, messenger, email, if I want to do it straight from my phone, okay? So it gives you so many different options. All right, so I'm just going to copy it. So I'm actually in the room. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so you see, guys, my daughter has joined me. Now that you're actually inside of Facebook Messenger, someone has joined, then that's when you're, it only starts on the app once someone's joined, okay? So you see that when we were doing it on the desktop, you could already do, um, you know, you could get to some of the features or whatever, but the actual meeting does not start until someone actually joins. And so on the app, you can do all these little you know, you can do all these cute little things, all these different effects. Okay, you can change the background. Let's see. Okay, all right. So, again, Zoom has virtual backgrounds, right? So, Facebook is definitely trying to come for Zoom. Let's see what other things are available. All right, and then it has lighting here. Okay. Okay. All right. Also, I could actually bring...
so I could switch my guests over here. I don't know why I want to do that. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's doing a little something. I don't know why would I want to do that. But anyway, um, let's go back. So as you can see, this is, it has the room for you to do a lot. Okay? All right, Joe, you can hang up. So as you can see, this new feature on Facebook is amazing and has so much potential for you to utilize and to monetize um, your Facebook lives and even inside of your groups, right? There's just so many different things that can actually happen with this. So I would just suggest that you take the time to figure out how you're going to utilize it and play around with it, you know, especially if you already have a group. So just let me know in the comments um, if you this video was very helpful to you. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you're going to utilize this feature in Messenger.